Local News 8 in the morning continues. Hey, welcome back. It's now 657. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, the Department of Environmental Quality issues an additional boil water order for Shotgun Cherokee subdivision in Island Park. The Island Park Water Company is attempting repairs on the water system, but it's not come up with a permanent solution. DEQ staff will be on site to monitor the ongoing situation and to answer any questions for homeowners. Number two, the Idaho State Board of Education voted unanimously to allow U of I to form a nonprofit corporation called New U. New U will buy assets and acquire the operating liabilities of the University of Phoenix for $550 million. And number three, due to poor air quality, open burning is now prohibited in Clark, Fremont, Lemhi, and Madison counties. Until this advisory is lifted, you cannot have a campfire, nor can you use charcoal and propane grills. You can find these stories and more on our website, localnews8.com, or on our app. Let's check back in with Jeff. Hey, good morning. It's going to be a hazy day around here. We got some sun mixed with smoke, and that's not good for air quality. It's going to be uh, sensitive in areas to the north, Fremont, Madison, uh, and Clark counties. Uh, for you, I, you know, be be careful with that haze today. Mid to upper 70s around here, and the weekend forecast. We lay it out with Old Faithful. It's going to be nice. Finally feels like springtime and even close to the unofficial beginning of summer next weekend. Hot Springs and Old Faithful and Hayes. 80 for IF. Pocatello at 82. It will be into the mid 70s for Old West Fest in Jackson. Quick draw McGall. I love it. Characters and <laughs> gunfights and all sorts of arts and crafts. It's going to be a good weekend to be out. I want you to be careful, though, in the bright sunshine because the UV rays are out there now and it may be masked by some of the sun. Our question of the day was how did you get confused as a kid? Hit it. My little boy was always confused about why you could not stick your finger all the way in the back of your throat and cut <laughs> the back of your eyeball. Good question. In preschool, they taught me how to stop, drop, and roll when there's a fire. But they also taught me in elementary school that you should fold your arms and walk out of the building. Okay. If a fire would happen, <laughs> wasn't sure what to choose, whether to stop, drop, and roll, or to walk out of the building with my arms folded. I mean, it's a valid question. Yeah. Hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you at noon.